He's a sign and giant and doing his thing. Hey, woodworkers, I'm your buddy Dave. Welcome back to the Saws and Jaws Workshop. This is part three of our five part Getting Jiggy With It series of episodes on table saw jigs. And this episode, I believe, is called the bevel you know. Now, the only bevel I know is 45 degrees. And I'm going to show you how to cut a beautiful 45 degree bevel while keeping your table saw blade perfectly perpendicular at 90 degrees. How do you do that? Well, you're going to have to stay tuned and find out. Well, you have a question out there. What's your question? What's the difference between a miter cut and a bevel cut? That's an excellent question. And I just happen to have some materials in my apron pocket that are going to help us answer that. If you remember from our last jig that we did in episode two, or sorry, part two, we did a miter cut on a miter sled. And a miter is any cut across the face of a board like that. As long as it's not 90 degrees, any, any angle other than 90 degrees is your miter cut. So we did that in that episode. A bevel cut, on the other hand, is any cut through the end of your board other than 90 degrees. We've got this blacked out piece here so you can see that. That is the part we're going to cut off and that's going to form the bevel at the end of our workpiece. So again, we're going to show you how to do that um, with a really cool jig called, appropriately enough, the 45 degree bevel sled. That's right, it's another sled jig that we use, only this time we're not using the miter gauge slots, we're going to use the table saw rip fence. It's pretty cool. And I'm ready to get jiggy with it, and I'll meet you right down here on the deck of the table saw. Hey woodworkers, welcome back to the deck of the table saw. A couple of quick words. We uh, all know there's many ways to do uh, cut the same joint in woodworking. We're talking about the uh, bevel cut here today. Uh, we've all done this, raise our blade up, flip the blade over to 45 degrees, run run your uh, miter gauge past it to, to, to cut a bevel like that. We've all done that. Um, the other way that we do it is, um, another way, bring the, uh, bring the rip fence in. Again, the blade out at 45 degrees. Pass your stock along the rip fence. Cut a nice bevel like that. But for the purposes of this episode, I... I'm going to play the bevel's advocate. And I'm going to say that um, if your stock has any distortion in it, and we can see a little bit of side to side wobble in this guy right here, you can see it. Um, you're going to get a more accurate cut if you clamp your stock to a jig like that. Uh, tighten the clamps, removes all the distortion. You'll probably get a more accurate and a safer cut out of it. Again, I'm going to show an alternate method to cut bevels using this sled. Looking at the sled very quickly, flip her over. Again, our traditional big box um, plywood there. I guess I must have had a lot of that around when I was younger. Um, you'll notice there is no hardwood runner. So this jig is not customized for this table saw. So you could build a jig, take it over your buddy's shop, show him how to do bevels using, using a sled. Um, over on this end, the uh, three triangular buttressed pieces. We've got the uh, middle one here dadoed in, rabbits on either end, then glued and screwed. Awesome, awesome tempered hardboard jig deck at a perfect 45 degree angle thanks to these cutoffs here. 45 in that plane, 90 degrees in that plane. And finally, a hardwood fence for our end bevels. And we've got the piece, our piece beveled here so that we get perfect support. As you can see here, as I exit the cut, I don't want the saw blade to, back, to blow out this more fragile piece back here. So our little hardwood fence here completely supports that cut. Um, good thing to do. So for our demo today, we're going to cut one end bevel and we're going to cut the opposite side bevel on this guy. And then we're going to... Uh, to see how we did. We've already used the jig on this piece and we've already used the jig on this piece so we're going to cut the mating pieces and see how everything fits. And remember our little magnetic jig from the mighty the mighty miter sled. 
Um, we've, we've pulled the jig out. It's just a little mag switch, exerts about 95 pounds of force. I'm going to put it right behind the rip fence to stop any deflection of that fence that way as I push the jig, because I'm going to be bearing against the edge of the, uh, of the rip fence. So I want to take all the, uh, all the unknowns out of that equation. So I think we're going to be, uh, we're pretty good, we're ready to go. So I'm going to mount up our first piece of stock. Here we go. I'm going to grab my, uh, where'd my little clamp go? There he is, he's buried. Okay, got him. Bring this guy over here. Let's put him in there. Just zip him down, there we go. Okay, so we've got that piece of work piece there sitting in there tight. This is my little feeler gauge, a little piece of notebook paper. Yeah, there is no, absolutely no gap or distortion in there. Can't fit even a little thin sheet of notebook paper through there. So, we're ready to cut. Let's raise the blade. Dun, 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 dun. Blade comes up. I like to keep it a little high in this case because as the teeth cut down, you'll get a little bit of a cleaner cut. And I am going to leave my pinkies well out of harm's way. I'm going to put them way up here. Uh, my, uh, my left hand's going to be there. My right hand's going to be there as I push through the bevel cut. All right, enough talking, enough jawing. Let's make some sawdust. Here we go. Always, always, always let that come to a complete stop. Okay, here we go. Let's pull that piece off. See how we did. Check with our uh, square here on the 45 degree side. I can see absolutely no light on the through the blade and where it makes contact with the face of the bevel there. It's beautiful. Nice and tight to the back there. That's a beautiful bevel cut. Nice and clean. No blowout. How's that made up with this other guy? Let's have a quick look. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful, beautiful tight miter. I can't hold that very steady. Looks like I picked the wrong day to stop drinking. There we go. Beautiful miter. When you glue that up, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Also, two perfect 45s, as you know from your shop math. Makes a beautiful 90 degree edge in there. That's lovely. Next cut then, we said we're going to use, we're going to uh, make a cut on a, on a long edge of our workpiece. So we're going to do a bevel cut along there. I am going to remove our hardwood fence because we'd probably have a, in reality, you might have a much longer piece. So let's get rid of this fence. It's just screwed into the one buttress. There we go. And same type of thing. We're going to uh, attach the uh, workpiece to the to the jig. I want to point out another little feature here. You see these two slots, eh? So what that's for is that allows you to, if you don't have really deep reach clamps, that allows you to put your clamp in that slot and you can slide him slide him down quite close to the workpiece if you've got a, a fairly uh, narrow workpiece. So we're going to use we're going to use this guy here. It looks like a good. It's going to work pretty well. Oop, let's unscrew that a little bit. Take the slack out of the clamp. Make sure that's clamped there. There we go. Nice and tight there. Look at that. So we're taking all the distortion out of that workpiece. I'll use this deep reach clamp here on this end. The piece is a little bit too short for that other clamp slot. There we go. All righty. That all looks fantastic. So, let's make a little sawdust. Here we go. Let's see how we did. That looks beautiful. And um, interestingly enough, we uh, don't seem to have any blowout on that edge. Again, using a, a really good blade. Again, I think I mentioned this is a, a Force Woodworker 2 blade. Um, gives a beautiful cut. And here's the 
beveled edge I made uh, I made earlier. Let's put them together and see how they look here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is just a beautiful 45 degree, two 45 degree bevels coming together. And that forms again a perfect 90 degrees on the inside. So that's it. That concludes the uh, demo of our 45 degree bevel sled. Uh, to get everything right, to pull all the distortion out of your workpiece, clamping it to uh, clamping it to this jig, running it through the blade with a nice constant motion. I'm telling you, the bevel is in the details, folks. I know that's a corny joke, isn't it? Anyway, we're out of here for this episode. That was our demo, and uh, hope you join us for the next episode. That's going to be part four of our uh, workshop jig series. Our Jigapalooza on table saw jigs. So join us. I won't give away the secret, but it's going to be a really cool jig. So that's it, woodworkers. Until next time, keep on making some sawdust. <laughs>